Paul calmed down after he thought of the first missed call. He found the number in the call log and called back excitedly, but did not expect that this is the phone of the terrorists who attacked him. Paul pleaded with the robbers to let him go, but the robbers demanded that he be ready to pay a ransom of $5 million before 9 p.m. Otherwise, they will be waiting for death, but he is just an ordinary truck driver. Where to get $5 million of ransom? The robbers suggested that he could ask the U.S. ambassador to ask for, so Paul hurriedly dialed the government and told him about the ransom. The customer service refused Paul on the pretext that the U.S. government does not negotiate with terrorists. Paul let out an angry growl when he heard this. And then, after he begged hard, finally the other party transferred the call to the Iraqi hostage rescue team. A commander there said they were already working on the rescue, conserving cell phone power in order to track his cell phone signal, and Paul finally had some hope. Then the robbers called again, telling Paul to get the note at his feet, read it, and record a video on his cell phone to get the ransom down to $1 million. 